friends let us see what is there in this question now so an electron enters a region of uniform magnetic field at the velocity v so this is an electron negatively charged that enters into a uniform magnetic field with the velocity v the direction of the electron is perpendicular to the magnetic field the path of the electron inside the magnetic field is circular with the radius r the speed of the electron is varied to obtain the different values of r okay which graph represents the variation of the speed v with respect to r okay dear students so what do we do in these kind of question is like you first try to understand if this is uh, the electron that is moving so if it is moving in a circular path it got to have a centripetal force which will be acting towards the center of the circle and the force that will be acting on it will be given by qvb sin theta where theta is the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector which is given as 90 degree here so sin 90 will be taken as one so the force is simply qvb now the force which is acting on an electron uh, if i find like okay fine the direction cannot be found because the magnetic field is not given but the force is given so we can find the direction of the force yeah it is downwards so the magnetic field will be into the page you can find it uh, by using various laws anyways so the force is in the downward direction the direction of the magnetic field is not given okay try to understand i am just writing it because i have calculated it i have found it with the help of the right hand palm rule and all those rules okay so you can use that so the electron this will be the force which is going down now so it is going like this so that this force qvb will be equal to the centripetal force which is mv squared by r from here we can find the value of r so r will be equal to mv by qb so either you would be remembering this formula or you have to derive this formulation in the examination that is on that is on you what you want to do clearly the radius r is directly proportional to the velocity vector v so there will be a straight line passing through the origin nothing more so the answer will be clearly a yes so the answer will be a because it is a straight line which is passing through the origin and this is how we do this question r is equal to mv divided by qb this is a straightforward formula that we are using in here so my dear student this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel also join the youtube channel if you want to access the paper two questions all the best bye